tonight on the allegations surrounding a local gynecologist. Lynchburg police received a report last week of a sexual offense on Old Forest Road. That's the same area of Lynchburg Gynecology. ABC 13's Kelsey Childress is investigating. She joins us live from the practice tonight with what she's learned today. Well, Mark and Danner, according to Lynchburg Gynecology, Dr. Lewis Dabney resigned from their practice last Thursday. If you take a look behind me, you can actually see that his name is no longer on that sign. And I've been working to get answers about that resignation. Lynchburg police received a report on Thursday of a sexual offense in the 2700 block of Old Forest Road, the location of Lynchburg Gynecology. The allegations come two days after a Lynchburg woman posted a complaint on Facebook about Dr. Lewis Dabney of Lynchburg Gynecology. Since then, dozens have expressed their own concerns about the doctor on social media. On Thursday, Lynchburg Gynecology posted on Facebook that Dr. Dabney resigned. This is Kelsey Childers with ABC 13 News. I was I'll looking. On okay. On. Okay. I reached out to the office to ask about the resignation and if it had anything to do with the recent complaints. Yeah. Practice Administrator I'm Paula Conway took my call. I am good. I was calling to ask a couple questions about, if possible, about Dr. Dabney's resignation from the practice. I didn't know if it was possible to set up an interview with someone. Unfortunately, Kelsey, I can't speak to that. Um, and so what we're doing is we're directing queries to a uh, email address. Okay. You can pose questions there and then someone will answer those to you directly. I emailed my questions to that address. I received this response saying they're reviewing my information and will respond within seven business days. So right now we're fact gathering. Allen Law Firm out of Richmond is representing Dabney's patients. I spoke with Ashley Davis, one of the attorneys working on this investigation. We have multiple clients now that have come forward and that have signed with us. And we are in the process of investigating those claims. I also contacted the Virginia Department of Health Professions. Through the Freedom of Information Act, I've requested any complaints filed against Dr. Dabney. I have not received that FOIA request back yet. However, according to this document that I received from one of his former patients, the Department of Health Professions is investigating Dr. Dabney, saying, quote, when that investigation is complete, it will be forwarded to the relevant health regulatory board for its review. Now, I also reached out to Lynchburg's Commonwealth attorney, Bethany Harrison, today to see if her office is investigating those complaints. She sent me the following statement saying in part, quote, I am aware of the social media posts. The individuals who experience behavior they believe to be criminal should make a report with law enforcement for a criminal investigation. I also asked Lynchburg police if there is a criminal investigation specifically against Dr. Dabney. A spokesperson responded saying all she could provide right now was the statement sent over the weekend about the sexual offense report. Now, it's important to remember that at this time, Dr. Dabney has not been charged with any crime. We're live in Lynchburg tonight. Kelsey Childress, ABC 13 News. Thanks for watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.